Hi guys, I finally got myself some cosmetic bags as my old ones are pretty old and had it and I have too many products in too many places so I thought I would condense it in this one bag and use this one to insert in the bigger bag so let's start with taking the tags off This is a protective covering over the the brand name, so I took that off. I better make sure there's no packing paper. There's a couple of silica gel throwaways. set those aside for now and grab my old bags which are cheap and nasty <laughs> well they're not actually nasty but yeah they're pretty old and had it and they get dirty over time as well start by taking out all the contents and just popping that on this towel so I have a blue eyeliner a purple eyeliner and some tweezers that I purchased for travel not that I travel a lot I did use it for when hubby and I went to New Zealand that came in handy so this bag I got three years ago when I bought a Revlon mascara and the gloss set be a lovely pearl ivory colour but now it's more tainted with bronze <laughs> so that can go to the wayside but this one was just from a cheap dollar shop and I got this years ago gel in silver I just put that under my brows normally it's like a highlighter BB cream highlighter or concealer sorry that's a concealer too so that'll go there So 
some of my makeup's getting very old too. This one's more of a liquid liner. This one's a lip balm. White eyeliner. That's for my waterline. See now this is why my bags get so messy. Because I lose the lids. And then you end up with a dirty liner. as old as this. That's what this one coming. So I'll be throwing a couple of things away. That's a brown shadow pencil. Lash and brow gel mascara. It's good to go through items now and then. Uh-huh. Grey, grey on pencil. 
go there. Green nylon. Blue. miscellaneous items which that one can go in the bin that looks disgusting and if that's disgusting this one is too so look at that how dirty that is okay so first of all I'm going to sharpen all the pencils Organising things and not having sharp eyeliners. There we go, that one's good. Obviously, I don't use that one a lot. broken. No, it's not. That one's good. That one's good. I just did that one the other day. That has a lid with a sharpener on it, but I don't like using that. supposed to throw your mascaras out and replace them but that one I never liked the wand on that one but that can go because I haven't used that for so long this one's my good one at the moment the Revlon so that can stay this one's going because that's old and I know it I'll keep this one for a bit longer. Just give it a wipe. See all the stuff that comes off there. some purging. This one's Astralis Mega Lash Mascara in blue and that's still pretty good so I'll keep that. I wear blue in the summer. Okay. So that can one on the side and also pop in my eyelash curler with the mascaras so 
I'm not hunting around for them. I'll use this blue case to place all my eyeliners, whether they're liquid or pencil, in here so I know. I've got so many because I'm not very good at applying liquid eyeliner and I was experimenting with different liners to see which brush was the best for me. So I clean this after each application in the bathroom. I'll be fine. So that's that. Bag complete. because I have brushes so that's going in the bin this one's going in the bin because my eyes water when I use that so let's put these two highlighters Another little side pocket. And the concealer. I was trying to think of what it was called then. It's 
not good anymore, it's dry. Actually, no, it's not. I'll hang on to this a little bit longer. It's almost out. I like to use things up if I can. This one's a Australis, or Face of Australia. Primer, it's very thick and waxy. But I don't mind it. That shouldn't be in there. So that's going. That can be put away as well. And lastly, I have the brow colours over pencil. And I love this. Rimmel. It's got a little brush. For some brow colour. So. I have to find a spot for that. my drawer in the bathroom and I don't have to be searching for everything that feels much better purging all that and cleaning everything up Anyone knows how often you should change over your mascaras. Somehow I think it's something like six months, but there's no way I get rid of my mascaras that quickly. Okay, guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care for now.